Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from uh, Infos uh, Oil and Gas uh, Training. Uh, we did not complete our uh, design codes and uh, standards uh, in uh, last video. We have to finish it. Uh, I hopefully I can complete in this video. It's part number five: design codes and uh, standards. Welcome to this video. Now it is pending on uh, some of the uh, uh, ASME codes B31.9 building services and piping. The major area we have covered that on uh, oil and gas, petrochemical, fertilizer, power plant, etc. But some other uh, important also uh, area, important area also need to cover that one. Uh, so this is uh, B31.9 building services and piping. SME code. Uh, B31.9 code is uh, typically used for the design and the construction of piping found in industrial, institutional, commercial, public building in and multi-unit residence which do not require range of sizes, pressure and temperature covered by ASME 31.9 power piping code. Uh, this uh, code is intended to be applied to piping for water and antifreeze solution for heating and cooling steam and steam condensate, air, combustible liquids and other non-toxic, non-flammable fluids contained in piping not exceeding the following. So, it is mainly, it is using the building services. A dimensional limit is there, carbon steel is there, stainless steel is there. I request you to read that one, uh, uh, take your time and pause the video and read it that one. Aluminium is there, brass and copper is there, thermoplastic is there, ductile iron is there, reinforced thermosetting resins are there. Uh, dimension limit, pressure and temperature limit inclusive compressed air, steam, steam condensate around 150 psi gauge. Steam and steam condensate from the temperature is uh, 186 degrees C. Other gases uh, from ambient to minus 18 to 90, 90 degree, 93 degree C, liquids uh, uh, from 350 psi to uh, gauge and minus 18 to 121 degree C, vacuum to one bar around 14.7 psi, then piping connection directly to ASME section 4 heating boilers. One more uh, BSME code is there, uh, B31.11 slurry transportation piping system. This code is typically used for aqua slurries for non-hazardous material such as coal, mineral, ores and other solids between the slurry processing plant and the receiving plant. One of the uses of these systems is in the mining industries in moving ores from the mines uh, to elsewhere. This code is intended to apply to piping transporting aquaslurries for of non-hazardous material, piping in pumping and regulating stations, all pressures, temperature from minus 29 to 121 degrees C. Uh, this is not uh, intended to apply, uh, not applying the following auxiliary piping such as water, air, similar liquid and gases, pressure vessels. Piping design for pressures below 15 psi at any temperature. Piping design for pressure above 15 psi when the temperature is below 20 degree Fahrenheit or above 200 degree, 250 degree Fahrenheit. Piping within the battery limit of slurry processing plant and other non-storage facilities. Design and fabrication of proprietary items. I think uh, most of the code we have already completed, uh, BSME code. Uh, so code applicability is the next section to be discussed. There are number of similarities in each code such as the calculation of minimum wall thickness, inspection and testing. But the exact rules are different depending on the type of facility. Allowable stresses are in different each code reflecting a different factor of safety based on the expected use and operation of the facility. Code applicability, in most plant, one piping code applies to the whole piping system 
but sometimes it is not appropriate to take each approach take this approach a petrochemical plant uh, may be designed to be 31.3 but there are there may be a power boiler supplying power and that piping should be designed to be 31.1 and parts may be designed to asme boiler and pressure vessel code so the important code applicably me understanding here is no one code fit all so one code is not suitable to all application so particular codes we have to review analyze study well then implement so code applicability will continue power piping is focused on high pressure and high temperature water and steam with very few chemicals the plant tended to be vertical which creates high thermal vertical movements that must be accommodated by the spring support plants are usually away from residential areas and potential for damage to nearby land owners is typically insignificant uh, another important point is discussed in code applicability programmatic uh, plants typically operate at much lower pressures and temperature than the power plant but the various chemicals result in corrosion issues and the use of many special alloy materials these plants are also laid out horizontally with most pipe support being rigid on pipe racks plants are often in large industrial areas if there are fire or explosion there is always a concern in minimizing the damage to the local area of a plant or a unit within the plant explosions may release hazardous chemicals in air and water and thus mechanical integrity must always be a primary design criterion uh, one more important point from code applicability pipelines are typically underground with no thermal consideration the pipes are not put in bending at support and thus design rules allow thinner pipe for the same pressure compared to b31.1 uh, and b31.3 pipelines may be used in unpopulated areas or running through suburban and urban areas because of the potential for damage nearby land owners rules are different based on the pipes proximity to populated areas important information including it is the owner's responsibility to de de determine which code section is applicable to piping installation and to ensure compliance with the respective code that is b31.1 or 31.3 etc some exclusions are including piping system that can be excluded from the application of asme b31 include asme b31.1 para 300.1.3 <clears throat> piping systems designed for internal gauge pressures at or above zero but less than 15 psi provided the fluid handle is non flammable tox non toxic and not damaging to human uh, tissue as uh, defined in asme b31.3 para 300.2 and its design temperature between minus 200 degree fahrenheit through 366 uh, uh, degree fahrenheit so, uh, tubes tube heaters crossovers and uh, manifolds of fire heaters which are internal to the heater enclosure caution once a code has been selected to apply to a particular piping system only that code should be applied for example it is not practiced to use a minimum wall thickness calculation from b31.3 an allowable stress value from b31.8 and an inspection method from b31.1 while it appears obvious that we cannot cherry pick the aspects we like from each code there are many times that the code are in codes are incomplete or give no guidance to certain conditions in these situations it is appropriate to research other codes technical purpose and other published documents for guidelines to properly engineer engineer uh, the uh, the piping system with this information a rational the engineering judgment can be made that is uh, at least as conservative as the governing code 
process steps or expectations. In, a, in applying SME codes to pressure system, it is important to note that the codes are not design handbook. Like codes mean ASME process piping and ASME boiler pressure vessel, section number 8 rules of construction, uh, process vessel, all are not design handbook. The design codes are to be used as a guide to the analysis that should be performed and do not eliminate the need of competent engineering judgment. This is very, very important. The ASME codes are set to fourth engineering requirement deemed necessary for the safe design and construction of pressure systems. Uh, to the greatest ex possible extent, code requirement for design and are stated in terms of basic design principle and formulas. These are supplemented as is necessary with specific requirements to assure uniform application of principle and to guide selection and application of pressure system elements. Thanks for watching this video. This is a small video. Uh, I hope we have completed almost uh, uh, design codes, uh, piping systems. Uh, let me review that one. What are the pending uh, uh, informations available? Uh, otherwise, I will start uh, fittings and walls from coming videos. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please subscribe my telegram channel. Uh, infos uh, uh, so for current updates and other. Uh, we are updating some job op opportunities as well in that one. Uh, reputed manpower agencies job advertisement we are covering there. So you can have a look there. Thank you. Have a good day.